Now this is the uterus of a 40 years old female. And you see there is a small rounded hypopoic area with the This is the uterus, this is the endometrial canal, this white line in the center is the endometrial canal and this is a small fibroid within it. In the posterior wall, in uh, intramural location measuring 36 into 23 mm. Now despite a lot of effort, I was unable to see the ovaries in transfer section as uh, a by transabdominal approach you know now this is the endometrial canal in transfer section this area is the fibroid the outer surface of the uterus is intact this is the outer this is the urinary bladder this is the outer surface in longitudinal cervix and you will see there is a, 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 a complex mass extending from the region of the right adunexa having both cystic and solid components within it. You see cystic component, these are all cystic components along with the interspread multiple ecogenic areas. So complex cystic and solid mass. Now it extends in the midline. Now in, I am in the center in the umbilical region. And uh, it extends. Now from the umbilical region, now I am in the region of the epigastrium. And you will see that uh, this is a small loculated fluid pocket at its upper uh, lateral margin. There's the same configuration of this uh, solid complex mass. Now in transfer section, in the epigastric region, I'm going to give a sweep to the probe in the midline and it extends up to the pubic region. Now a cephalic view of the same. It expands on both sides of the midline. Now I am in the region of the right hypochondria and this you see there, there is small amount of fluid seen. This is a small amount of linear area is suggestive of fluid in the hepatorenal or Morrison's pouch. Not only that, you see a focalian in the liver as well, which is almost isoechoic, but surrounded by ecogenic border, irregular ecogenic border. And, uh, the gallbladder is normal. I have to see whether it relates to the kidney or not. This is the right kidney. Right kidney, liver, gallbladder, the portal vein, common bile duct. But you see it from the right hypochondria. Now I am giving a sweep to this mass down. It, so you see it extends on both sides of the middle. Now on the left side, left hypochondrium. This is the left hypochondrium coming down. This is the right lower abdominal quadrant.
no significant vascularity is seen in this mass. Vessels on the right side. This is the eye vessel on the right side. This is the region of the left. This is left lower abdominal quadrant. Now you see in this. Uh, mass, there are cysts with septas within it, cystic area with septation and uh, along with, you know, ascites, this uh, is of aggressive nature. Now you see a rim of fluid around the lateral margin of the liver. This is the ascitic fluid. So this is a large, complex, cystic and solid mass. Occupying almost all of the abdominal cavity, extending from the region of the right adenexa up to the uh, epigastric region, and is of aggressive nature because of as other findings, as for example the ascites. Thank you.